Here's a scenario I'm sure you can identify with. You go and you buy a brand new pair of shoes or boots. You can't wait to put them on, break them in, rock them every day. They're gonna be your new go-to look. They're gonna be your feet's best friend. You're gonna wear them every single day. But wait a second, not so fast. Now I know that wearing the same shoes every single day may not seem like that big of a deal, but it can be, and I'll explain to you why. The first thing you have to understand is that your feet actually have more sweat glands than almost any other part on your body. And if you're gonna be walking around all day, your feet are going to sweat, which means that some of that moisture is going to get into the shoe itself. Now, if you have nice shoes, that means that the interior is most likely leather. A lot of times you have a leather footbed. Your foot is basically surrounded in natural materials which absorb all of that moisture. The issue with having all natural materials in your shoe is that they are prone to rot and they can they can get gross, mildewy, and it can actually destroy your shoe. If you ever see a shoe that looks like it's completely lost its structure, a lot of times that's because it's been introduced to moisture, whether that's through rain on the outside or sweat coming from your feet on the inside. It's not only nasty, but it can destroy your investment, which is your shoes. And there are health concerns as well. You may remember the movie Forrest Gump when they land and they meet up with Lieutenant Dan and one of the things that he says is take care of your feet. Every time we stop, I want you to change your socks. And that was because trench foot, as it was known back then, was a really big problem, which was basically the foot never had a chance to actually dry out with all of the rain they had over there and walking through swamps and then just walking and walking and going for miles and miles without having your feet actually have a chance to dry it creates a really nasty problem. Now, I'm not gonna put any pictures of trench foot up on the screen because it's gross. If you wanna Google it yourself, good luck to you. I mean, it's pretty nasty, but you can check it out if you'd like. So, not that I'm saying you're gonna have trench foot because none of us are wearing the same shoes for, you know, 16 hours a day and walking through the type of environments that the soldiers were. But that's basically what can happen. That's an extreme example of what all this moisture can do to your feet. Now, athletic shoes aren't immune to this either. A lot of times the inside of athletic shoes have some sort of open cell insulation, which is basically meant to cushion your foot and absorb all that shock from running or doing CrossFit or whatever it is that you use to keep yourself bikini ready. All of that needs time to expand and basically regain its original shape to be effective. Now, there's not the drawbacks that you have with a fully leather shoe as far as uh, absorption and actually rotting out the inner materials, but still, it's usually a good practice to give them a break. Now, if you have dedicated gym shoes, which you only wear for an hour or two a day, chances are they have a good chance to dry out so you don't really have to worry. But if you're somebody who wears the same sneakers day in and day out, well, you may want to think about giving those a break every other day or so. And here's the situation that I found myself faced with when I was an electrician in the field, which was you buy a nice pair of work boots, a nice pair of Red Wings. I mean, we're talking $350 for these things and you want to get your use out of them. After all, as I've explained in previous videos, a construction worker or anybody who works with their hands for a living takes into account their boots as another tool in their toolbox. After all, you're using it every single day. It's in charge of keeping you from slipping, uh, rolling your ankle. There's a lot of built-in safety features. So as I saw it, it was a part of my tools that I was getting my job done with. Now, the problem is, is who can afford to buy $700 worth of boots because you're gonna rotate them every single day? And especially in the beginning, if you're an apprentice or if you're a laborer or whatever it is, if your wage isn't quite as high as you hope it will be someday, that's quite a stretch. So, what is one to do? Another problem was the cold. When I was working outside and it was the middle of January, zero degrees out, it's really hard to concentrate on anything but your feet being blocks of ice. And a lot of times, moisture is to blame for that. If you know anything about survival in the wilderness, especially in cold environments, you know that moisture is your enemy in almost every way. So having moisture against your skin without having a chance to dry out is just bad all around. So how do you go about managing moisture, especially if maybe you only have one pair of dress shoes or one pair of really nice work boots? Luckily, there are a couple of methods. 
Now, one of the ways that I managed moisture was by buying a boot dryer. And all this is, is essentially a forced air system with little posts that you are, you could just stick your boot on top of and has a timer so you can turn it on and just let it run for an hour or so. And it would just circulate air inside of your shoe, allowing it to dry out. And one of the important things is that this would get down by the toe where most of the time moisture stays and it's really hard to get rid of. So that was one thing that I did and it really did seem to work out. The other thing that I did was bring a second pair of socks with me. So at lunchtime, I would just change out my socks. Now, your sock is really kind of the first line of defense when it comes to managing the moisture. So if you can just cut it off midway and finish your day with a nice dry pair of socks, you're gonna really just be much, much more comfortable and your shoe will thank you for it. Now, what about those of us who work in an office or maybe you're a student? We're not subject to the same type of temperature variations and changing conditions as somebody who works outdoors, yet you still need to maintain your foot health and of course, you know, your shoes. One of the easiest and best ways to do that is to insert cedar shoe trees at night. This helps the shoe maintain its shape and it also absorbs moisture. So, of course, you wanna to try to rotate as much as you can. However, if you only have one pair of shoes, one of the best ways to take care of them is with cedar shoe trees. Now, buying shoe trees for every pair of shoes that you own can get expensive really quickly. So what is the guy in a budget to do? Well, what I would suggest is something that I've done for a long time is wad up some newspaper and stuff that into your shoe. This will absorb the moisture and it'll also help the shoe keep its shape. A lot of times, most of us aren't walking around in really expensive bespoke footwear, which comes with its own custom made shoe tree. This is a great way to get by and still get the, the benefits of a nice cedar shoe tree with its moisture wicking and also the ability to keep its shape. So if you've ever heard that you shouldn't wear the same pair of shoes every single day, I hope this video explains why. And I've given you a couple of different options as far as managing the moisture in your shoes. Believe me, your feet and your shoes will thank you for it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it and I will see you next time.